Alright, what is going on guys? The top 5 Ibiza houses. This is finally, look at this, by the way, 60 frames a second on the camera right now. That is wonderful. But anyways, welcome Stop to playing around. top 5 houses Come in Ibiza. A duel if you Hold on. I didn't actually mean to do that, but let's start it off with the poor Ege house, bro. I probably didn't pronounce that right. I know I'm gonna get slandered in the comments for it, but welcome to one of the first houses in the TD2 Ibiza. Now, this isn't a large house. It only has two car garages. However, the detail here is very, very nice. I mean, like, come on, we're still off small here, but look, you got a nice skybox in the area. Come around here, of course, you can still frame your pictures and majority of the TD2 houses get your nice little table there and by the way if you haven't seen my video Tenerife tables in TD2 listen Tenerife might actually be the place I mean look you got wine here you still got your TD oh, hold on you guys know what it is TD media listen to this yep it's not a TD2 video if you don't see me enjoy this sound bro I cannot wait for TDSC but anyways let's head over outside and you'll see the view is pretty damn nice now, I have the satellite mod on, so that's why it kind of looks like a satellite. And you can see though, come on. Got a nice little pool here. Not sure who would fit in between here, but you got a nice little interesting thing that you got going on. But come on, why would you not want this? But you know what, let's take a look at the garage and I'll show you one more reason as to why this house is one of my favorites. And then of course, we gotta move on to the fourth place house. Now, <laughs> the garage is pretty empty, do allow me, but come on. Not many garages have this in TD2, in fact, none at all, but the vibe, the J Asian vibe, I guess you could say the Japanese vibe, the JDM vibe, well, not really JDM, but <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying, it's quite nice. You got marble, look at the reflection, bro. I'll tell you what, TD2, for its time, is graphically very good, honestly. I'm sure TDSC is going to look pretty crazy, but anyways, let's move on to the next house, and I'll show you guys exactly what that is. Swipe. All right, so next up, we got the fountain of this house. I really do hope I said that one right, because I don't remember how to spell it. But anyways, welcome. This house, the reason why I get it to number two is because of the view you have of San Antonio, which is the main city in Ibiza, which I got to start saying properly as well now. Anyways, take a look at this. Beautiful. Now, again, San Antonio, I believe, is right over there literally across on the other side of this i guess you could call this a lagoon or whatever you want to call it but again hold on you guys already know we gotta do man raise up the volume this is beautiful and hold on by the way like i said shout out to the comment for the controller hd camera 60 frames a second life is beautiful one day we're gonna look at this we're gonna see news we're gonna go on weather channel we're gonna see tenerife hopefully hopefully i'm right we'll see in july but take a look at this house uh, oh what is in my way now again so the thing i don't like about most of the houses is that it's missing a kitchen like you know there's no actual kitchen of course you got a little uh beautiful bedroom here with again a view could you imagine <laughs> you know i'll let you guys i'll let your thoughts wander off there but anyways got your closet and all that the garage is pretty much standard again you're buying this house for the view not so much the garage but still nonetheless you do have the standard condo garage which is pretty nice anyways let's move over to the next house in at number three what's the third best house in Ibiza well let's go ahead and check it out all right so obviously as we're pulling up to the next house the Fujinoki residence this is the house that we're gonna be taking a look at because why it's definitely one of the most beautiful ones and I actually meant to pull up to the garage but you can see, come on this is quite the beautiful house and honestly it is it's a shame I'm pretty sure you can go outside actually but let's take a look because we have a lot to do now first off come on you got a nice little hot tub built into your house make sure I don't walk to the screen window there it's one of the garages too and you have the most massive house and the most massive pool i mean to say actually look at that now the thing also i wish you could go up there like literally up there but unfortunately you cannot but i mean come on i guess you can say that it's probably another hot tub but you know regardless got a nice little canopy area come on why would you not 
And even, of course, a gym. Jesus Christ, we can actually go over this. Let's go ahead, walk back in. Now, I'm sure something in like TDOC would be nice if you could store like trophies or wins here. I'm sure, listen, whatever kills on our plan, it's going to be pretty nice. I'm sure of that. You know, we got a nice little gym. We can work out here while do. Come on. We're going to work out and watch TV? That, listen. That is. <laughs> This, this is the house, rich people ants. Come on, man. Why? Like, that's... Whoever the artist is that made that... Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead over to the garage, which... Again, no cars in here. But, you guys get the point. This... Oh, bro, oh, look, look at the reflections, bro. Anyways. This is a beautiful. Now, when you actually have cars in here... I would honestly say it's one of my favorite. And of course, you got a nice little garage lift all the way out the other side, which again is probably a must need. And I think if we walk over here, you can see basically how the garages are, which is crazy. Like that, like this is something that you'd want to have IRL. This is like the pinnacle of all houses in TDU2. Anyways. Let's go ahead over to the house in at number two. Again, we'll see if you guys enjoy it. I'm sure you will because the view is why this one took number two place. All right, so welcome to none other than Zenith Loft. Now, first off, the driveway to your house is why this one. <laughs> Come on. Now, another reason is that you can actually glitch over to an island on the other side of this house, which again, is beautiful but hold on this is enough to get to 200 kilometers in your house jesus anyways this is why the view you have is stunning let's go ahead over into the garage i mean obviously we're gonna have to take a look around the house well come on now first things first turn on the tv because the come on you know, <laughs> one could say I'm addicted to it, but let's take a look at outside. And of course, you actually have stairs in this house, which again, nothing in TDSC. If we have stairs going upstairs, let us see the other bedrooms, you know? Let's have a look at everything. You see a beautiful view that way. Now, you could almost say this is an infinity pool. It honestly should have been. This should have been an affinity pool, but regardless, it's still nice, but come on. But right there is actually the island you could glitch to, which is why this house also takes a spot. But I mean, come on. It is beautiful. Something in TDU that I cannot wait. Words can't explain. Come on. TDSC, like literally when you play TDU 2, the social features, the physics obviously are going to be better in TDSC, so come on. I mean, there's not much else you can say. The view is just phenomenal. But anyways, let's move over to the number one house. And you guys are going to know exactly which one that is. Let's go. All right. You guys know, when you go through a tunnel, there's only one house on the other side. And come on. It is where TDT started. The whole house party with Paul Oakenford. I hope I said his name right, too. I'm butchering names all over the place. But anyways... The driveway and run up to this house is one reason why it takes the first place but it just started td2 as a whole it really did the whole party me and test wintry i was basically the start of it all and that is why on top of the view of course it takes this place again nothing big it is a six car garage though but this is why it takes the place this was the start of it all this was where you first met tess winter in your little dream of course but <laughs> you still got the view you got everything man and hopefully i'm really interested to see how they start off the story in tdusc will we see tess come back will we see Stuart winter come back yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting and of course you even got that little driveway all the way up this road over here you can chill and get pictures by it. so you know I mean, you got a beach as well, so why would you not want this house? But this is why this one can take number two. Sorry, number one, I should say. But let me know what you guys think. What house have I missed out? Are there any houses you have included into this? 
I mean, not only you, the refugee house, the wooden one, it's... I was going to add it, but like, you know, it didn't make that much sense when you compare against these ones. But yeah, other than that, I'm Ox7. I'll see you guys in another TDU video. I'm out. Peace.